Hey guys, what is up? My name is Pony Wars Gloss, and this is gonna be a very interesting review. So, what movie I'm reviewing? Well, you brought the title, and I am reviewing the first Terrifier movie. Now, when I first heard about the movie Terrifier, my thoughts were rather interesting. I was highly curious about this movie, especially with hearing how horrific it is, and Needless to say, the movie did not disappoint me. Um, I might as well start off with some things I liked about the movie, and that probably is the practical effects. Now, all things in this movie are practical effects, which is actually really cool. One of my annoyances with horror movies, because, well, I love horror, is sometimes they use a lot of CGI blood. And that was kind of my problem with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, was that there was just a lot of CGI blood. But in this one, they actually, like, use, like, actual models, per se. Like, they don't use really a whole lot of CGI, but they use, like, actual, um, like, actual models and actual props. And it actually does the movie a lot of justice. I mean, we all pretty much know about the scene where there's a girl who basically gets split all the way from her vagina up to her head. And, and... One thing I do have a problem with this movie is there's not really a lot of plot, per se. I mean, the plot basically is, you know, there's this clown going around murdering people on Halloween night, and he does it in, like, very graphic ways. And basically, um, they don't really do a whole lot with that plot. I mean, what can you really do with that plot, per se? But, and it's kind of mostly focused on, like, the clown, Art the Clown, and him killing people, and that's pretty much all this movie is, which is fine if you want to do that for a movie, but at least put a little bit of story in it. Now, I guess I might as well talk about my thoughts about Art the Clown, and personally, I think he's actually better than some of a lot of the clown characters you see in horror movies nowadays, and that might be a controversial opinion, but it's just what I think. For one, he basically doesn't speak. He doesn't even make any sounds, which adds a lot more to in depth. And he does have a lot of, he's like very threatening. Like he's terrifying, literally. Um, like what I mentioned earlier about him killing all these people, he does it in such a very graphic and very like artistic way. It's no wonder why he's called all clown and overall I found myself really liking him I mean granted he's not the best clown character of all time I mean who who really likes clowns nowadays <laughs> especially with movies about clowns nowadays mostly horror um but I don't know I, I don't know why I just found myself really liking Art the Clown the acting in this movie is not exactly great I mean, the first two girls in the movie, one of them, like, acts like she's kind of drunk, which I guess that's kind of the point. I mean, they do come, they are coming from, like, a Halloween party. But at the same time, it just doesn't seem to work for me. A lot of the, a lot of the jokes revolving around the characters aren't exactly the greatest, per se. I mean, there are some jokes that are in here that are fine for what it is. But there's a lot of jokes in this that just don't work. And the characters in this are kind of boring. The only one I was kind of interested in was Tara. I think that's how you say her name. Um, and she like gets, and you kind of expected her to be like the final girl in the movie, but she gets killed like halfway through the movie. And then her sister kind of becomes the main protagonist of the movie. Well, the final girl of the movie. And overall, I did find myself really liking this movie, but there was a lot of problems with this movie. It's not a perfect movie by any means, but if you do want to check it out, then I won't stop you. Uh, and before you ask about the sequel, well, I'm going to prepare myself really hard for that one, because from what I've heard, it's ten times more gorier than the first one. So if you do want to check out this movie, good, but I should warn you, that you need to have a strong stomach for this, because, um, 
Yeah, there is a lot of lore. <laughs>